What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. So up on the screen today, we have this clip from Impact's live stream. This was three days ago, so I believe this was on Sunday, uh, but I've had this on my computer for a while. It's something I wanted to talk about, but you know, stuff's been busy, stuff's been crazy. I, I don't always get the videos out exactly when I want to or, or whatever, but in this video today, we're going to kind of be talking about this, this Impact clip and what he has to say. Obviously, you can see the title, EG Impact on Pros, not solo queuing, um, talking just more about what do LCS players, North American players, need to do to improve over time what impacts thoughts and opinions are what uh you know is he taking shots at lcs players north american players evil geniuses players uh does he have a point is he off you know i, I just think it's a really really interesting topic uh and a really interesting discussion i think there's actually a lot to kind of dive into here um obviously evil geniuses was eliminated from the playoffs this past weekend um but overall impact had a pretty damn good year he had uh, an mvp caliber split uh, who knows if he'll get the mvp or not but he was at least in the conversation i think at worst you can say he was the second best top laner this year um so he is definitely an opinion and a professional player especially in north america and in the west that is uh respected very very highly people care about what he says um and he knows a little thing or two about this game about being a professional player and about winning championships but before we get into that i just want to mention real quick if you guys have not already please take a second and smash that like button i would appreciate it so so much it really helps me out the youtube algorithm and it's an awesome way to help support my channel and my content if that's something you're interested in doing also subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content uh so you guys don't miss out on anything we got going on in the future it works out for you works out for me that'd be great with that being said let's get right into this first up we can just start by seeing what impact has to say um what this clip is where this conversation first got started but i actually saw this uh it got posted on reddit i don't know if it got to the number one thing on the league of legends subreddit but it was highly upvoted people were talking about it reddit twitter all over the place um some people agree some people disagree uh so let's see have 10 team how many people play five people then 50 people play SS, right? Then Academy is 50 people Academy play, right? That means 100 people playing like pro. So what they doing then? What they doing? They're not playing game. You know? What 100 people doing? They just entry right. So obviously Impact seems a little bit frustrated. And again, I don't know if this is with the LCS, with North American players, with the region in general, with maybe with his team specifically, with how things are going. Obviously, um, he expected to have a little bit better international results on Team Liquid the last couple of years. That stuff didn't happen. And then now he's on kind of like a middling team in the LCS and, and he's frustrated and rightfully so. Again, he is coming off a split where he was by far the best player on his team and if not one of the best players in the league. And, uh, you know, I'm sure he feels like he was unjustly kind of demoted from Team Liquid down to Evil Geniuses and that uh, all the teams in front of him passed up on him. You know, Cloud9, passed up on him and tsm passed up on him and even 100 thieves uh that you know he uh, i'm sure is frustrated a little bit but he makes an interesting point obviously saying that there's 50 lcs players there's 50 academy players when you look at the amateur scene there's an even bigger pool of players uh and then you have all the people who want to get onto an amateur or an academy or an lcs team and those guys should be dominating uh the the top of the challenger ladder you know at least in impact's opinion and in some regions that is exactly what happens um i don't necessarily know exactly all about how China or Korea works, but it's my understanding that in China and Korea, that, that grind to be number one, or at least be high challenger, me medium to high challenger, is very, very intense, and it's something that people really, really care about. Also, being number one ranked on all those ladders means so, so much. The Chinese super server, the Korean servers, all of that, uh, and that stuff's not going on right now in the LCS, uh, and I just thought this was really, really interesting. Again, this is a discussion that's been had uh, a lot previously. I know we've had guys like Licorice come out in the past and say that uh, solo queue is really dumb. Solo queue is kind of a waste of time. Uh, you know, if it's fun and you enjoy it, or if you're trying to learn a new champ, or if you're trying to, uh, you know, learn team fighting or whatever, that there can be some good things. But overall, uh, he never found a lot of value in solo queue, and he'd rather practice one v ones in private or scream against uh, scrim against academy players or or practice matchups and stuff. And you know, for a while, that seemed to be going really, really well for him. Obviously, when you're at the top and you're performing well, whatever you say has a lot of credence and gets a lot of respect. But 
Now, Licorice is not doing so hot. You know, now that he's not on the best or one of the best teams in the LCS, all of a sudden he's not looking so good. His results, his performances are not looking so good. And it's going to uh, make people come, uh, you know, call to question his uh, abilities and, and his training regimen and what he's doing because Impact yeah, seems to be getting better. I mean, this is honestly one of the best seasons that Impact has had in the LCS this year. Uh, and Licorice, it's, it's one of the worst. And we have guys like Haunter. Haunter was never a big solo queue player and he kind of fell off. Double lift um, during his time. He was, he, he would play solo queue, you know, sometimes he'd grind it a little bit more, but overall it wasn't like he was a massive, massive solo queue player. I know Bjergsen went through stretches of, he had one season where he played an insane amount of solo queue games. And then, you know, a couple years later, he got to the point where he was going to play less solo queue games. And it, I think it is really uh, on a case by case basis, uh, what works for you specifically, because obviously you're scrimming a ton all day. You're thinking about the game a ton all day. You're playing LCS matches. You're playing uh, these big tournaments, especially some of these top teams. You're playing a ton of games no matter what. And, and you're scrimming. You're working for 8, 10, 12, sometimes more hours per day. Um, and again, over the long term, over the course of a career, yeah, you can maybe do some crazy schedules for a split, maybe a year, maybe a couple years, but that's not sustainable over the long term. So I definitely see both sides of it. You know, there are there have been amazing, amazing players in the world who have grinded Grinded, absolutely grinded and they attribute a lot of their success to that now is that what necessarily made them successful it is faker faker because uh he has grinded an insane amount like yeah i'm sure that has something to do with it and obviously it got him to where he is today to some extent you, you know there, there's no arguing against that you can't not say that but also i think some of these awesome amazing players would still be great amazing players even with some different training regiments, even if they did certain things, or even if it takes that amount of grinding or whatever to get to a certain point, at some point, I think you can start to level off a little bit as well. Now, maybe not, maybe League of Legends is just a crazy game, maybe it's different than way, uh, than everything else, you know, but there's not, like, professional athletes and stuff that, during the season, are also, uh, you know, putting in 10, 12, 14 hour days, like, that's not healthy, um, even if it maybe helps your mechanics, or your game sense, or whatever a little bit, it is having other effects on your health, your body, that are negatively imp impacting performance, so there is a fine line that you are walking, there's definitely arguments on both sides, obviously, Koreans, Chinese players have had better results, so so uh, their arguments have a little bit more credence and stuff, but even the European uh, uh, like lifestyle and training regimen stuff it is, seems much more laxed than uh, even China or Korea, and, and they've had some, some fairly good results, especially recently as well, um, and uh, so you know, you don't really know. Also, a huge thing is obviously just the different cultures, the different amounts of players in the player bases, the different amounts of uh, kind of interest in these games. Like uh, this, ga these games are way more popular in some of these other regions than they are in the United States, where um, in the United States or Canada or wherever, we're not necessarily getting our best esports athletes or our best players or our best, you know, potential players. Where maybe in Korea and China, you're a little bit more likely to be actually getting the cream of the crop into some of these games. So I don't know. It's tough. There's a lot that goes into it, but I definitely understand what he's saying. Um, so I did want to actually take a look at his team specifically. Uh, this is on trackingthepros.com. This is what I found to be the most like comprehensive list and everything. I don't know if these are exactly all up to date uh, and updated, but I think they're pretty close because this has uh, impact at right around 1200 LP. Um, and yeah, so so when I look at the ladder, this is like exactly up to date. This is exactly where impact is in, in terms of LP. So if I look at evil geniuses, you know, you'll see impact here. Uh, Challenger, he's rank eight in North America right now. But then the rest of the players on his team, Grandmaster, uh, mid Grandmaster, Jazuke is like low Grandmaster, and then definitely is Diamond One. I don't know if this is his most up to date account. Does he have a, an account that's like Grandmaster Master? You know, I'm not exactly sure, but I know um, I have heard like memes and rumors and stuff before about definitely being one of the um, either one of the pros that plays the least amount of solo queue or one of the lowest ranking pros in solo queue and stuff. And you know. It's got to be a little bit weird when he's, uh, yes, again, he's calling out North American players, he's calling out LCS players, but then again, he's indirectly calling out a lot of his teammates as well, because they're all going to the same scrims, they're all going to the same practice, and then they're all going home, and, and he's like, guys, I've been our MVP this whole split, I've been carrying, I've been popping off, and we're still a middle of the pack team, I'm putting the work in in scrims, putting the work in on the weekends, and putting the work in solo queue as well, I'm a high ranking player, why is my team not playing solo queue? Is definitely not good enough to get out of diamond one? No, he definitely is. Is he so good in the LCS that he doesn't need to be playing solo queue or something like that? Like, no, definitely not. You know, he, he maybe should be grinding a little bit more. 
Now, again, there's a fine line to walk. So there's definitely a such thing as too much grinding and too much practicing. And we've seen that uh, affect people, you know, like uh, uh, Tactical talked about that with Team Liquid a couple months ago, how that can have a serious, serious impact uh, on him specifically and on pros in general. You know, Tactical is not the only one that is like that just because he's come out and said that. But that doesn't mean that too little practice is not a thing either. Just because you have to, you know, worry about your physical health and mental health and all that stuff doesn't mean that somebody can't, uh, you know, prod you a little bit and be like, Hey man, you're diamond one. I mean, you, you, we're just the fifth best team in the LCS right now. We got knocked out in the first round of the playoffs and you're diamond one and solo cute. Like, come on, man. You gotta, you gotta, that, that's, you know, did you really try your hardest to split? Did you really put everything into it? Did you really um, do everything you could to get better and improve over the course of split? You know, like, I don't know, especially a player like Deathly coming into this season with a chip on his shoulder. Um, you know, but a lot of people said he maybe didn't even deserve a starting LCS 80 carry spot. And I think he proved that he probably does over the course of this year. He wasn't the worst 80 carry in the LCS. Um, but you know, he wasn't good enough for where Evil Geniuses wants to be. They have impact. They have Sven Scaring. They have Jazuke Ignard. These are all players that have had domestic success, that have gone to Worlds and found some sort of success. These are all, like, uh, internationally, at least to some extent, respected players. Uh, so, uh, again, you know, and no, you know, pass to Sven Skarin, Ignard, Jazuke, or whatever either, but, um, you know, they're a grandmaster. They at least have, you know, a little bit more of an excuse. Maybe they have a different regiment or something that's worked for them in the past. Um, but, yeah, it just kind of really really interesting really curious to see uh everyone's different opinions obviously everyone thinks different things some people think solo queue is really important some people think it's absolutely stupid and doesn't matter at all and some fans um have the perspective that they want their favorite teams to be grinding and they want their players to be high ranking and um you know we complain about the solo queue we complain about uh, our practice environment we complain about our development but again just like impact says we have 50 lcs pros we have 50 academy pros. We have however many more amateur pros. We have collegiate pros. We have so many, uh, not amateur pros, that doesn't even make sense, but amateur players, collegiate players. We have so many people that if they were all about grinding and all about queuing, and obviously in the season, it's also a little bit different, you know, in the off season, maybe you need to be grinding a little bit more. During the season, you have a little bit more of an excuse, definitely, but still, uh, you got to put your work in as well. Um, that if all of those players, 100, 150, 200 players, were all grinding at their best, and if they were the 200 top spots in Challenger competing with each other and actually giving their hardest, uh, it should, at least in my mind, be a pretty uh you know good training environment good practice environment that's not what's happening uh you know you always have streamers you have like the one tricks you have just uh randoms in the the top half of challenger um that are filling the spots that our pro players should probably be filling up and that's what impact is saying and and i'm not really on either side of this debate i don't necessarily agree with impact that every pro player should be playing way more scrims or, or way more solo queue and that, that that's the answer um because i i do believe there's only so much you can get out of solo queue but i also am not going to say that uh pros being in diamond one uh, and not playing solo queue at all or doing what licorice does or even doing what like a guy like Hunter has done in the past uh is necessarily a good thing either just like a ton of debates and, and a ton of conversations everything out there i'm sure the truth is probably somewhere in the middle now is it a little bit more lean in this way is it a little bit more lean in this way you know i don't know for sure obviously i haven't been in this environment um i have a traditional sports background which is you know, maybe a little bit relevant in this discussion, but not really because League of Legends is such a different game. Um, but I, I know what professional athletes and collegiate athletes and what their schedules and stuff are like, and it's nothing like what Impact uh, and some of these other pro players are talking about. And they have much more uh, longevity of their careers. They, you know, you guys can play for 20 plus years, and we haven't seen that um, so far yet in League of Legends. Obviously, the game hasn't even been out that long, but we're seeing players burn out, even the greats burn out after three, four, five years, um, and that's kind of concerning long term. So again. I don't know exactly what the answer is, but I thought this was at least an interesting discussion. And I thought it was kind of spicy that Impact is calling out uh, his fellow LCS players, maybe some North American players, and, and maybe even his own teammates. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see uh, how he and Evil Geniuses and really all the LCS and all the American players develop over the course of this offseason. Because for a lot of them, they're done now. Now they really have no excuse to not be grinding, to not be trying to get better. Because, um, I mean, the teams that are out now obviously didn't do well in the summer playoffs. They're the teams that probably need to be practicing the most and getting ready the most and improving themselves the most but that's pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it i would appreciate it so so much it really helps out the youtube algorithm leave a comment down below uh what do you guys think about this whole debate uh do you think solo queue is important do you think it doesn't matter or what you know if you think somewhere in between let me know in the comment section i would appreciate it a ton subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content hopefully I catch you guys in the next one but until then peace